Whatever tax he paid, he's going to get it back to export logs to China? It doesn't add up. It's crazy. Or then I see I, I have trouble with my computer, and I'm not good with computers, so I need, I need help. So I phoned a cable company. He's only two blocks away from me. They got a shop called Delta Cable. So I phoned to get help. Some guy answers, and he wants my address. He wants my name. And he says, how do you spell that? And I say, oh, wait a minute. Where is this guy? I say, where are you? I'm in Prince Edward Island, or I'm in Nova Scotia. <laughs> Luckily for the guy, he doesn't say he's some other place in South Asia. Otherwise, I'd hang up immediately. But that's what happens. These guys are getting their tax back. But they're employing someplace further away, far away, because it may be cheaper. So he's getting your tax money back. That's the, that industry. You, the consumers in Chilliwack, are paying for this. Or General Electric, a big corporation in the U.S. And they're doing run-of-the-river projects. They somehow made a deal where the government went nuts and said we need to have private sector companies make run-of-the-river projects. So they build these run-of-the-river projects. It gets crazier. They give these companies a 45-year contract, and they pay the companies more for the power than what BC Hydro could possibly sell it for. And we're giving General Electric their tax back, you the consumers. It's crazy. So I can see where the corporate sector is coming from. It means billions in their fat pockets, and you know what? It goes to their shareholders. It, it's not, they're not going to create jobs or, or, or have a lot of economic activity because they're getting a, a little check, well, not such a little check, a check, a big check probably, from you, the consumers in BC. They are, they are uh, they're expanding or building uh, only when the price of the product goes up on the world markets. And in the meantime, the money that you're giving them goes back to the shareholders and they say thank you very much. Probably never say thank you, but that's what they should do. So we know where the corporate sector is coming from. Then there's the federal government. Why did the federal government bribe the provincial government with $1.6 billion? Why? They don't give money away very easily. Maybe to Quebec sometimes, but certainly not to us. So they give this government $1.6 billion. Well, you know what? Pretty smart move. Already in this past year, the federal government has collected over $300 million in additional income tax, in additional income tax from BC because of the HST. Because when the businesses were paying PST, it became a tax deductible item. It became an expense and they could deduct it from their taxes. But now that it's an HST and they're getting it back, they've got to pay Ottawa income tax on that money. So I think any of us wouldn't be too upset about investing $1.6 billion. None of us have that, but just use it as an example. No one would mind investing $1.6 billion dollars, knowing that you're going to get minimally, because it always goes up, there's more collected every year, minimally 300 million dollars per year from this province extra forever. So for the federal government, they're going to get their money back in five years. Incidentally, the first contract is a five-year contract that the province entered into, and if you take five times 300 plus million, it comes to exactly 1.6 billion. So all these guys, all these politicians, all these people that are supposed to represent you, be they from Ottawa or Victoria, knew all along what was happening. So why is the province doing this? Well, initially they said, but you know, keep in mind, they lied their whole way through this thing. Initially they said, it's revenue neutral. Whatever we take in, it's paid out again, it's revenue neutral. That word was used over and over. Well, we found out through the so-called independent panel, which government appointed, and keep in mind, there's no such thing as independent panels when government appoints them. They're never independent, but okay, they call themselves the independent panel. That sounds good, John, let's see here. 
No, he's not. That's, that sounds good. That sounds good. But you know, uh, this so-called independent panel came back and said, well, you know, this, they knew this would one day get found out, so they wanted their credibility saved at least. They said, well, the government is really taking in a, a little bit more than what they're telling us about being revenue neutral. They basically admitted that it's $850 million tax grab on top of what's going back to industry. So the provincial government really is wanting to grab more taxes. And understandably, they created a big hole. You'll recall during the 2009 election, the Premier and the Finance Minister traveled the province and said time and again, we've got a deficit, it's $450 million, and we're not going to go over it. That's the limit. That's it. No more. Well, it ended up being $2.8 billion instead of $450 million. So there's a big hole to fill. There's perhaps something more uh, complicated in all of this as well. And that is that and, and the Prime Minister, Harper, fine gentleman, but he reminded me of this a few days ago when he was speaking on radio and television and saying that the government of Canada needed to have a greater role in what was happening globally. That we needed to have a bigger role in what was happening, happening globally. Folks, they're out to globalize. It's globalization. And I don't mind, well, I don't like paying taxes any more than anyone else, but if it's going to Victoria, you hope that it's close enough that you might have an element of control. You really don't, but you hope. If it goes to Ottawa, you know that you've got a little less control again. But once they start collecting taxes from you through Belgium, you're dead, you're finished, you may as well give up. However, that's not the only thing. I'm told again and again, and initially I took it with a grain of salt, and maybe we still should, but it's something to think about. We see it happening elsewhere in the world, unfortunately. And we're going to see it happening here more and more too. We're going to find governments like sending out little checks to people, particularly to the poorer people. And the people who perhaps don't have a whole lot of control over income, and every little bit helps, even though you're paying it, they send you back a little rebate check. So you get a little rebate check for the carbon tax. You get a little rebate check for something else. And you'll see further little rebate checks. And that little rebate check is supposed to commit you to the government. But what's going to happen in the end, finally, and hopefully it's a long way off, and maybe we've started something to stop it all, or at least slow it. Eventually, the goal is to diminish or perhaps eliminate middle class and we'll end up with very poor people and very rich people. That's where it's all heading. We see it happening. So I'm, I'm very pleased, I'm very pleased when Chris and I particularly, but we're, we're a group, we, we, we can't take credit. It's all of the people that have been involved from the very beginning and worked very hard. Chris and I, however, get the bad messages and the good messages. Fortunately, I get more good messages than bad messages, although I tell Lillian when, when I sit behind that computer till late in the night, I say if there were bad messages, it would be easy. I could just go delete, 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 but they're nice messages, so i got to answer them. But we get all these messages from people, and, and they're not just from people here. We get messages from people in Ontario, we get messages from people in the Maritimes, and this, what we see happening in this province is more than an action by the people about a tax. Yeah, it's about a tax and so it should be, but it's also about democracy. If we don't win this one, if we can't somehow win this one by pulling together, you're going to see more and more things happening because governments, regardless of what they're striking, I know it happens will say, well, you know, we got away with it that time, and this is what we did. If we wait long enough, people will give up. We send them a little check, we make them a little promise for this or that or whatever, and we'll win in the end if we just hold out long enough. You've heard the radio commentators say again and again, you know what, the government handled it badly. 
It was just, it's not that the tax is so bad, it was handled badly. Yeah. Well, you know what? It was handled exactly as government wanted to handle it, except it failed this time. 